name's Matt Kenyon, and I'm a member of SWAMP, which is uh, Studies of Work Atmospheres in Mass Production. And we collaborated together with Tiago Rourke for this piece, Tartagachi. And Tartagachi is a uh, custom-built enclosure for a microorganism, this organism called a uh, tardigrade. And they're extremophiles. They're little organisms that thrive in extreme environments. And we built an enclosure for it. On one side of the enclosure is a set of optics that enlarge it. Uh, this tiny little guy who looks like a half a millimeter long gummy bears. They live on moss and they live all over the world. And that's on one side, you can optically see it enlarged. And on the other side is a, uh, a virtual avatar, a little 8-bit character, much like a Tamagotchi from the uh, early uh, 90s. They live in this, in this sphere together. Uh, but they're also networked, so they're on Facebook and we have iPhone apps, uh, so you can engage with them uh, and feed them. They have a docking station that you put it in just like you would uh, put your iPod in the cradle. Uh, but this one's a little different. It has a large uh, syringe that injects uh, tiny little droplets of food into the, for him to eat. It's uh, like a, a virtual body for a real-life organism. And we're really interested in exploring how people connect and attached to uh, living organisms, especially ones that are um, out of sight and kind of out of mind. We're really interested in this idea how technology extends human bodies and um, extends human relationships right between individuals, but it also changes our relationship to uh, uh, elements of the natural world. So much of our bodies are uh, filled with non-human cells like microbes and bacteria and things like that that are as much part of us as the things we consider to be human. And that becomes really interesting and problematic maybe when also we have these uh, virtual bodies and these Facebook avatars and all these things that are also extending our idea of what is human.